but it's not just any Super B. It is a legitimate A12, which means six pack Super B. Hey everyone, hope you're enjoying your year so far. I'm here in Missouri in 2023, and I'm about to go through a friend of mine's barn that has a few cool cars to say the least. Um, I learned about this place through my friend. Um, it's a long story, it's actually pretty cool. I had no idea this guy had, this is just one of the spots. I'll do a series of videos on it, but this is the first spot. So let's see what we got. Okay, so we came up this gravel road and if you've seen a previous video of mine, there used to be a 70 Charger RT six pack car here, but we never showed what was in the barn. And to say the least, there's a few cool vehicles in here. That is a 65 Belvedere II, I believe, and a 1968 Dodge Dart, which, okay, they're cool in their own right, but back here is where it really gets interesting. Gotta get around this Dodge swept side bed. Oop. Okay. In the back corner of this barn is a 1971 Dodge Charger RT 446 pack four speed car. It does say Super B on the hood, but it is, it's not the original hood to the car. You can see the door has also been replaced, but it is a legitimate six pack car. Uh, B7, I believe, dark blue which my friend Seth said is very rare for this year. And I can't open the door, but I uh, can't, can't really see on the other side, but that's what we got here. Oh, Rally gauge cluster, blue interior. Very cool. The, the engine is unfortunately long gone, but and it's got a little bit of a dinger, but not terrible. And sitting next to it is a 1969 Dodge Super B. But it's not just any Super B. It is a legitimate A12, which means six pack Super B. Made only for 1969 and a half. It's the originally a dark green car. The fire blast hood is still here. See the raccoons have been busy. This one's a little rusty, but really not that bad. Let's see what we got here. A little bench seat, rally gauges. Looks like it was a four speed from the hole in the floor. But, and this is probably my favorite part. Ram Functious 440. That is cool. See someone had some fun with the car. You can see the original green in the engine compartment. No engine right now. Next to that is a 1969 Dodge Coronet. This one's just, I believe, a 318 car from what my friend Seth told me. Ooh. Reset that. Probably a parts car for that car. There's a just 440 on the other side. And over there is a 1969 Dodge Super B 3 to 3 car. And unfortunately, I can't get past this spare step side bed they got. But really nice cars. They've been here for a while, to say the least. And try to get a better view from the other side of the step side. Just got to watch. My step walking over all these AC boxes. Ooh. Okay, we're good. But there 
is the 69 Super Beat. Oh, let me can scoot in here. Oh yeah, I can scoot in, all right. 69 Dodge Super B, 3-3 car. Ooh, it's even a side scoop car. Is it a four speed? Huh. I don't remember, we, we've never been able to get over there. And next to that's another 69 Dodge Coronet, 318 car. To say they've been sitting a while is putting it mildly, but they're in a nice, safe environment, nice and dry. So I don't expect them to have any issues in the future when the owner does decide to do something with them, which, as things are evolving right now, will probably be pretty soon. Try to get a better view of the B and the charger. There you go. Pretty cool, to say the least. And this is just the beginning of this. I was fortunate enough to see this property, like that 70 Charger RT six-pack car, back in 2021, when I had first seen the cars in this very first property. I had no sense of what I'd be getting into. The owner, who's a very nice gentleman, is like, oh, I have a few cars lying around. He had no... He was excited to show me the quality and quantity of cars he had, and it blew me away. I mean, this was the very first property we went to, and there's six-pack cars, you know, Charger, or two six-pack Super Bs, or two, two six-pack Chargers, you know, two Super Bs, a six-pack Super B, and this was just the beginning. And I'll get to show you all of it over the next few weeks. I hope you all enjoyed the video from my friend's yard in Missouri. This is just the first video in a series, to say the least, and uh, should be a good one. I think it's going to be five or six videos, probably, so we'll have a lot of fun. But if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Otherwise, of course, I'll see you guys every Monday when I drop a new video, and I hope we have some fun. Talk to you all soon.